Hi, I'm Lindy Hewson, editor of PK and Packaging News, and I'm here talking to Greg Sale from Kuka Robotics about new technology they have on show. Greg, would you like to tell us this about this? Yes, yeah, sure. This is our new hygienic machine. Um, we've chosen to launch it at Auspac, and it's designed especially to work with fresh food. So it's not a robot that needs a bag to protect it from when it's working in contact with, with meat or cheese or other types of fresh mm -hmm. foods. And that's because it's got a special coating which can be washed down with uh, high temperature and, and high pH. All of the fastness have been replaced with food sensitive ones, so they're stainless steel so they don't rust but also the food won't hide inside them. It doesn't have a lot of little crevices and, and cap head screws. They've all been replaced. We've replaced all the lubricants with food grade lubricants. So if there ever was a leak in, a, in one of the gearboxes, it's not the end of the world because it's food safe lubricants. Then to make it nice and flush for everybody, uh, when they're installing them, the cables come up from underneath the robot. Traditionally, they're coming from behind, but that's really hard to protect if you're washing it down with with uh, high pH or high temperature. So we've brought it in from the bottom, so the whole robot from here up is protected and can work easily with fresh food. So how new is this? This is the Australian launch of, of this product. It was launched in Germany at the end of last year. Uh, we've officially launched it here. We have a few already going into the market. Um, but yeah, we think that this is a real game changer for the food sector. Talking of game changers, what about collaborative robots? Do you have anything on your stand to yeah. show us? Yeah, we sure do. Come this way. This is the KUKA, sorry, the KUKA LBR EVA. So LBR, German for lightweight robot. Uh, EVA, intelligent industrial work assistant. So this is a robot that can work alongside people safely. So if it touches you, it won't hurt me. So if you're looking to assemble things, it's a robot that feels, it's seven axes. This is what's fairly unique about this robot, seven axes but they've all got force torque sensing in them. So it's actually feeling like you and I, if we feel something on our fingertip, we feel it in our wrist, we feel it in our elbow, we feel it in our shoulder. That's how this robot works as well. So from an operator point of view, it's simple. You just push it to start it, you can push it to stop it. And away it goes. So this is again, collaborative robots are really changing a lot of manufacturing. It's kind of a combination in the future. You're going to have collaborative robots, you're going to have people, and you're going to have traditional robots. And the three of them are kind of the combination that will be connected to be part of a big part of Industry 4.0, so the, you know, the new industrial revolution. So there'll still be space for humans in a factory? The collaborative robot in particular is, um, I would say it, it's an adjunct, it helps humans. It, it does what it does best and humans do what they do best. And by connecting them, you've got a collaboration. So collaboration just doesn't mean you can touch the robot. Collaboration means this works alongside people uh, so that they're actually complementary to each other. Fantastic, thanks for sharing all of that and good luck for OSPAC. Great, thanks very much.